Today we are finally filming our Q and A. It's much needed. Yeah, we've been preparing for a while. Yes, let's go check it out. So, um, a couple weeks ago on our social media and um, I think on YouTube post also, we put out a post saying that we were wanting to collect some questions that people had because in previous YouTube videos in the comments, people were leaving comments saying, we have this question, we have this question, and somebody recommended um, just doing a whole Q&A video. So that's what we're here to do today. Um, and love that idea. That's what we love whenever, you know, people give us good suggestions or, or they leave good comments and things like that. So yeah, that's what we're here. Yeah, we've got 20 questions to go through today. Um, and so let's, let's dig right in. Go for it. You All start. Right. Question number one is, what are your names? I like this question because it's an easy one. <laughs> and my name's pretty easy. It's Alex. There's no weird spelling or anything like that. It's yep. just Alex. Plain Alex. And then mine is uh, a little... Sorry to interrupt, but let me just say it's technically Alexander. Okay, fair. Yeah. So Alex is actually a nickname. Yeah. But... But I, I like either, so it really doesn't matter, but I wanted to throw that in there. It's actually full name's Alexander. When he's more serious, he likes to be <laughs> called Alexander. Right. Um, mine is a little bit more unique. My name is Tember. So T-E-M-B-E-R is how that's spelled. Mm-hmm. And that brings us to question two, and it's, is Timber short for September? It's not. Mm. Um, September was the inspiration for my name. My parents wanted to choose kind of a unique name, so they went through the month of the year and um, decided just to go with Timber. Yeah. And just to answer this question that will probably be asked, no, you were not born in September. Nope. July. Yeah. It has nothing to do with that. So... Question number three is, how did we get the name The Altim Life? That's oh, a good story. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. We, uh, I remember we were in the car and we finally just said, let's come up with names and see what we want to do. And we didn't want it to be a name that like everybody has. Right. We wanted it to be unique. We wanted it to kind of like reflect who we are. Um, so naturally, we just thought, let's see how we can combine our names together. So Al... It's for Alex, and then Tem is for Timber, which Tem is like a nickname for me, and yeah. Al is a nickname yeah. for you. So. And life is just us going around doing what we do. Yeah. So there you have Fitting. it. Fitting. And we didn't think it would sound good just Al Tim Life, so we put it the, the in front of it, the Al Tim Life. Because it's the only one. There's, I don't think there's going to be another Al Tim. That would be... Life. Yeah, that would be... I hope be, not. That would be tough. Uh, question number four, do we have kids? Um, human children? No. We have three cats mm -hmm. and two dogs that keep us on our toes. Mm -hmm. Our three cats' names are Belle, Sniper, and Berlioz. Mm -hmm. Berlioz, he was actually featured in one of our videos. Yeah, the um, Flying, Flying Biscuit? Biscuit at the Villages, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't, there's a pet store right down the road, and we like going in there just to see the cats. And... His name was Berlioz. That's uh, off Aristocats, if you're a Disney fan, and looked exactly like Berlioz. Berlioz. And yeah. we were like, uh-oh, this is like, I've got to get him. Meant to be. Yeah. Um, he's very ornery. Uh, we'll see if they show up today. I know the last video, they weren't totally comfortable. I yeah. see Belle, she's sleeping, typical, but we'll see, maybe. Yeah. Um, and then we have two dogs. We have a St. Bernard named Nana. Mm -hmm. And then we have a German Shepherd named Gaston. So yeah. there's some Disney theme mm -hmm. within some of those names. Yeah, exactly. Um, but as as far as like human kids, we currently do not have no, human kids. No, um, I actually have some infertility issues. And at first that was a tough pill to swallow. Uh, like anybody else who dealt with that will feel the same way. But... We know that it's all in God's plan, and um, we're living life how we're supposed to be living life. And really, actually, we're really content with how things yeah. are right now, embracing the fact that we can just pick up and go and, and do things as we please. And I mean, sometimes 
the pets are enough. <laughs> oh, 100%. They're very high maintenance. Yeah, they are. And of course, if you go somewhere, then you have to have somebody, you know, come and check on them and all that. But um, yeah, we're, I mean, whatever. We're good right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. whatever God wants for us exactly. in life. Exactly. Yeah. Brings us to question number five. How did we meet? We actually met in college. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the same college for one year. I was a sophomore. You were a freshman. Mm -hmm. And then you made a change in your career path. Which yeah. Which took you to another school. Yep. Yep. I went to school at the same college in Missouri mm -hmm. as him. And um, one year for like pre-med and then decided mm, not for me. So hopped over to another college. But... It was all supposed yeah. to happen the way it happened because had I not gone, I wouldn't have met yeah. you. And this is really weird, but I've heard people like, I think, could be wrong, but I feel like males more than females, when they meet somebody, they can like just know if they're going to marry them. And I kid you not, I literally, day one I met her, I think I even told my friend like, I'm, I'm marrying her. I was not <laughs> as convinced off the bat. Yeah. But... It all worked it, out. It worked out, question. yeah. Let's see. Okay, number six, I believe we're on. I'll read this one. Okay, you got this one. Maybe we can alternate now. Perfect. Um, is Temper from Washington State? Nope, I'm not. Um, I have family that lives in Washington State, and they've lived there basically my whole life, so we've always traveled up there to see them. I absolutely love Washington State. I think it's one of the most beautiful um, regions in our country. Um, and we just recently, yeah, we just there. recently did a video out, a couple videos actually yeah. while we were there visiting family. So not originally from Washington state. Nope. But love it. Yeah. And no, I'm not. Yeah. No. I, have, I have no family out there. So no. other than your Married side of family. family. Yep. yep. Let's see. Number seven, Alex, do you have siblings? We saw Timber's brother on the Funko video. And yes, I do. In I, Washington. Yeah. In Washington. That was one of our videos. Mm -hmm. Uh, and yes, I have an older brother. Yeah. Yeah. He's a fun guy. Yeah. Um, and then this wasn't really asked, but I figure I'll elaborate because you mentioned my brother that was in the, he was in the Funko video. Um, and then I have an awesome blended family on both sides, on my mom's side and my dad's side. And so in total, I have six siblings. Mm -hmm. Um, so Lots of love, lots of people, lots of fun. Yeah. Yeah. What are we on? Eight now? And just so you know, we keep looking down because we have our questions on the computer And in I'm front squinting because so. I can't wear my glasses. <laughs> uh, uh, so number eight, do you live in the village villages? Nope. No. We do not. Don't have plans to. It's just such a big place though with a ton of restaurants. Mm -hmm. So we do go there quite a bit. And not a lot of other, I mean, not that we've found um, other YouTubers yeah, kind of do lot. what we do in that area. So we've kind of just kept going with it and the restaurants are good. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we do not. And that brings us into question nine, which is, do your parents live in the villages? And I don't know who, which side that was really intended to be asked Either upon. Either one, probably. But neither of our sides of the family live at the villages. Neither sides of our family currently live in Florida. Right. Yeah. We're the only ones. We're down the only here. ones. Yeah. And then it's ten. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting. I made the rule and then I don't <laughs> play by it. Um, are you originally from Florida? Nope. Nope. So I am originally from Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Go big red. And you are I'm from Missouri. I've lived I lived there my whole life. We always used to vacation to Florida, whether that be like the mm -hmm. beach or the theme parks or all that. And I think since I did that for a while, I wanted Florida to always be my home because those memories coming to Florida were great, fun Why memories. not live in a place where everybody vacations? Yeah, exactly. You know, you have the theme parks, the beach, all that stuff. And so we finally decided a couple of years ago, let's mm -hmm. move to Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 11. 11. Did you both go to Nebraska? I don't know if they're referring to the school UNL. or just the state. And I think they're referring huh? to the college. Um, no, neither one of us went to UNL. 
I would have loved to, but that just wasn't a path and it all works out. But I did, obviously I was born there, family that lives there, grew up there for all of my childhood with my dad. And um, it's a great place. Like I said, go Big Red. Yeah. Yeah, we're Husker fans, in case you didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I kind of married into it, because I don't think I had ever been to Nebraska prior to you. Probably not. So, But we've gone quite a bit now. Yep. It's a good place to visit, honestly. Yeah. Cool. Number 12. Oh. Uh, where do you live? Ooh. So our address is actually... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like bleep out the video. Yeah. Blah. Um, we live in central Florida. Mm -hmm. Um close enough to get to the beaches, to the theme parks. Yeah. It's a really good location. I think all of Central Florida is pretty much There's just so much the to same do. with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, scroll down here to number 13. Would you please show a wedding photo on your Q&A session? Sure enough. There's the photo right there. And the cool thing about that photo is, or just the wedding in general, we actually got married in Florida. And we weren't living in Florida. We got married in Navarre mm -hmm. and we wanted to make it like a beach wedding. Yeah. So we just, it was small. We had family, friends. And the honeymoon. Yeah. And then we, after our wedding in Navarre, um, family, friends went back home and we continued our honeymoon down to Disney. Alex hadn't been there probably at least 10 years. Yeah. It was, probably more than that. It was a while. Yeah. And then I had gone, you know, a little bit prior to our wedding and prior to us being together. Yeah, and I was kind of, I was the type that was like, no, let's like fly to Hawaii or something and do something mm -hmm. like that. We did that. Like Hawaii, yeah. And then you came up with the idea of why don't we go to Disney World? I don't know why you thought of it. Because you... we were poor college kids. <laughs> I mean, we couldn't afford Hawaii. And but, it's I mean, funny now thinking, yeah. oh, well, we could afford I was Disney. I to say, but... Disney has, you know, if, especially if you go to all, all the parks like we did too, yeah. but... Uh, we rolled with it. We drove down to our wedding and then from our wedding drove to Disney and ha had the best time. So we will head on to the next question. Uh, 14. Oh, yeah. What kind of phone holder do you use? I guess that's a question to me because I'm the one that films. But I use an OtterBox and it's got the built-in pop socket. And sock I, pop it. <laughs> sock pop it. That's what we like to say. And I use it because it's easy to hold um, and film with. So... We don't use a lot of equipment just because we're on the road a lot and it's a lot to carry around. Right now we are using an actual camera on a tripod, but when we go into our videos, we just like to be simple. Simple, minimal, easy. That's why we do the videos, just to have fun. Yep, exactly. 15, any food types that you would prefer not to review or are not to your taste? It's a really good question. Um, for me personally, I'd say I'm willing to try just about anything at least once. Um, I will draw the line at like raw fish mm, yeah. just because it freaks me out a little bit. I'm sure it tastes delicious. That's fine. Not for me. Yeah. Um, and then I also just don't really like tomatoes. That's yeah. That's really it. I don't think I'm too picky. No. I pretty much like everything, but if something is like raw, probably really would prefer not to eat it. Um, but that's why we like doing our food reviews because we do like eating food. Yeah. Trying different things. Yeah. Good question. 16, right? Yes. What are your occupations? Another good question, but we both... Well, you made a career change. Yeah. So I was a teacher, an elementary school teacher, and um, kind of phased out of that, prayed a lot about it, and um, went to join you mm -hmm. in an office job yeah. now. And yeah. it's really fun. We get to spend our day together. and Yeah. I, I, I love being able to work with you 24-7. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yep. If you ever get a chance to work with someone you love, would definitely recommend Try it. Try it. It might Try not it. be for everyone. <laughs> it's definitely for us, though. I, I, I do enjoy it. And that brings us to our next question, though. Is YouTube your full-time job? It is not. Um, our other jobs are full-time job, and we do YouTube kind of on the side. And that's something fun to do together as well. I really enjoy that. Yeah, we moving down to Florida, something we knew we wanted to do was um, just really try a bunch of new things, go and do stuff. Because, I mean, Missouri, 
some people love it. It wasn't for us. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to take full advantage of our time down here in Florida and um, go out and try all these new things. And also we wanted a way to share those adventures with our family and friends back home and kind of document it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it started out just as that turned into a hobby and now it's turned into a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. And um, throw this in there. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you see, we would love you to, yeah, we'd love you to subscribe to our channel and follow us on everything we do. Let's see. That would be 18. Um, favorite restaurants. What are your top five favorite Ooh. restaurants? That sounds like an awesome video idea for later. Yeah. So yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. Um, and note it doesn't say just Florida restaurants. It says top mm. five favorite restaurants. So I don't know if they were referring to just Florida or all time favorite restaurants. I'm going to interpret that as all time. Fair enough. That'll have to be another video. Yeah, which I don't have the answer to yeah. that yet. And speaking of which, um, if you have suggestions for other like videos like top fives, top tens, places to go, do this, do that, comment below on it because we make a list of everything. I mean, I think I counted today. We have like 40 restaurant suggestions. Eh, so we're again, trying our best. We're trying, but that that's that'd be like a f every day for a month and a half yeah. trying to eat at everybody's restaurant. But um we do keep note of it all, so if there is a video like a top five restaurant that you want us to do, just let us know. Or things to do. Yeah, or things to do. I will say one restaurant that I'll throw out there, I'm not sure in what kind of list it'll be, it's just a very good restaurant that's always on the top of my mind, is the um, Toothsome Chocolate Emporium mm. at City Walk at Universal. Yeah. What we ate there last August, mm -hmm. I believe. We did do a video on that, and I'll put that video down in the description that you can watch, but... They have this thing called chocolate almond bread. Really, that makes the restaurant right there. All you need to go do is go in there and say, I'll take some chocolate almond bread. and Two or three orders. And your life has changed. <laughs> so that is a restaurant that's up there for me. Yeah. Number 19. Have you been to Disneyland Paris or Disneyland California? You go first. No. <laughs> the only Disney I've been to is Disney World. I would like to go to Disneyland, um, but I've heard that after spending a lot of time in Disney World and how massive it is, when you end up going to Disneyland, you're kind of like, mm, not as big, but I would still love to see it. Yeah. Um, so I lived in California for a little bit whenever I was younger, and we made the trek up to Anaheim, did the whole Disneyland thing. I had been to Disney World prior to that. Um, so... I think it just kind of depends on how you grow up, like which park you end up going to first. So Disney World definitely has more sentimental, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. meaning with me and I, I prefer that. That wasn't really the question. <laughs> there you go. And then um, no to Disneyland Paris. I've never been overseas. Um, my family lives in, well, a lot of my family lives over in England. So... Maybe if we yeah. go visit them, we can we, hop over yeah. to Disneyland Paris. Yeah. And uh, we used to live in Missouri. And so in Missouri is Marceline, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And Walt Disney grew up part of his life there. They have the home he lived in. They have the Main Street. Got yeah, that was the, the Main inspiration Street. for mm -hmm. Main Street USA. Got to eat at a restaurant. They had one of the best ham and cheese, <laughs> grilled ham and cheese I've ever had. Uh, but that was really cool. That was prior to us filming, unfortunately. But we do have a lot of memories of going. Yeah, we did a lot of fun stuff prior to us filming, like all throughout our marriage. So if you guys follow us on social media and um, that kind of thing, we try and sprinkle in some of those older adventures that we did because it's still fun to look back and see. Yeah. And we also have all of the social media links down in the description below, too, that you can click and it'll take you right to the page. Mm-hmm. Uh, before I forget, we did get a question while we were doing this Q and A. So let's see. Yeah, you I posted on one? our social media. Refresh it. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Did you move here to be near parents? We kind of answered that earlier. As far as our parents do not live down here. Yeah. We actually just just did it really on our own. There was we didn't know anybody actually down here. Mm -mm. We just took a leap of faith. Felt like God was telling us to move here, and thankful we did. And it's a good vacation spot, though, yeah. for our parents I was and our say, family. I think our family's glad we did, too, because they can come down and stay for free in Florida. Yeah, for that reason. We all miss everybody, but yeah. it's been good. Yeah. 
And then my mom left a question. <laughs> Not really a question. She's funny. Yeah. Um, and then, do you want to read it? Well, she said... Because it is a... Fair enough. It is a question. Well, yeah, I guess well, it's yeah, a question. Well, yeah, it's a question. She said, oh my gosh, how come you are so cute? I miss you. <laughs> miss <Thank> you too. <laughs> we miss you. Yeah, she wasn't saying that to you. Sorry. Yeah, well, you miss, you, in the video. miss you. Love you too. <laughs> Go ahead. And then... The th- oh, this is mine. 20. We just read that one. But this is 20. It's level 20. <laughs> so you, okay. Drum roll. Again, we did this in the last video. <laughs> Uh, what do you think you all will be doing 10 years from Oof, now? Considering is... I didn't think I would be doing this a year ago, <laughs> I don't know. That's yeah. a really good question. Yeah. The hopes would be that we have a million subscribers, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Maybe 100 million. I think if we had 100 million subscribers, 10 years would definitely look a lot different because we'd be... Oh, Yeah traveling all over the place or whatever but honestly 10 years from now i still want to be doing youtube i plan on doing youtube for a very long time just because i love how it's kind of a memories for us that Mm. we can go back and look at all the things that we've done and then on top of that um i do like showing everybody the cool things there are to do in florida and there's a lot of stuff yeah it creates a cool community it does and even outside of florida like there'll there'll be things we'll want to do in other states Mm -hmm. we already showed you know our Washington trip. Right. And then we do want to go over and see your family overseas, Mm -hmm. things of that nature. And there's still a lot in Florida we have left to do, you know, like Everglades, the keys, keys, a cruise. Yeah. A lot of stuff. So whatever God's plan is, is what we'll be doing. Um, Yeah. But I would like to still see us doing these videos and having a successful YouTube channel. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, you, Hit the nail on the head, just traveling still, um, following God's path for us. And I do think we both have an entrepreneurial spirit. So I can see, hopefully, maybe, the Altem life um, expanding or evolving into more even than what it is now. Yeah. And side note, I do like this kind of goes on with uh, 10 years from now on personally what I would like to do. I've always liked the idea of having like shirts and seeing somebody like wearing a shirt of some sort. And um, in our last video we did, which was the top five, our top five restaurants at the villages where it was this style of format, we were wearing our stinking good shirts. Mm. And um, I love them. That's just kind of what we say. So on our website, we do have a spot for stinking good shirts. I would like to see us come up with some more, I think. Yeah, more shirts, more ideas. Shirt ideas. If you guys have ideas, yeah, yeah if you, you have never know. shirt ideas of what we should do, I know I, I have another one that I wear to Magic Kingdom quite a bit, and that's of uh, the Jungle Cruise. It's a your version, my though. version of the Jungle Cruise, because you have to be careful with Disney stuff. But um, it's just it's it's fun to like design something and then wear it. Yeah, so, it's a creative outlet, which is fun. I would like to see maybe that go somewhere too within the, the ten years. Um, other than that, I'm, I mean, I'm happy where we're at too. Yeah. We're very thankful for everyone who's followed us throughout all this, who's subscribed, who's, I mean, a lot of you say some very awesome comments. Yeah, like they're positive really, and encouraging. We read them all. So they're, they're, thank you. We mm-hmm. really appreciate it. And hopefully you learned a little bit more about us because I know a lot of people want to know who we were. And I think... Um, if you have other questions that maybe we didn't answer in this, I'm, I'm sure there are tons. Maybe we'll do another one down the road. Yeah. So if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comment or even just message us on social media, whatever. Yeah, we try to answer everybody back. So Yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully that was good. Hopefully everybody liked the Q&A because it's done. It's done. And... It's on our schedule to post on YouTube, so it will be getting posted on YouTube. (laughs) Yes. But with that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.